Hi everyone, welcome back to How We Homeschool. So today I'm just gonna do a quick reorganization of my K through 12 um, curriculum bookshelf. This is a phonics curriculum. If you ever get the chance to use it or see it and try it out, you might wanna do it. It is an amazing curriculum. It is called uh, Secret Stories. So the shelf that I'm working on right now is my history shelf, and it is the worst. Um, it gets used the most, and we happen to have an air conditioner um, ther thermostat back there that we need to put our hand in there to turn up or down, and it's become difficult to get to. So that is the reason we are reorganizing the shelves to get them back in order. My history shelf is my most used shelf. These are the who was, what was books, uh, history books, and my daughter absolutely loves them. My oldest son loved those too. And those were all the books that she had pulled out and just sat in the front of the shelf and I need to get those back in there. I try to keep everything to this one long shelf. Uh, we do have a few other books, uh, you know, straggled about here and there, but the majority is here and I try to keep it all here. Uh, this is the next shelf down. I've got to organize this shelf too because other books have been thrown onto this shelf. Uh, this is the half English or language arts and the other half is science. that spectrum writing book uh, that I have uh, shown in the in the beginning there we just I try to give spectrum writing a chance so many times in the past 15 years and again it has failed us <laughs> my daughter just maybe did about half the book and she just did not like writing it so we're going to go ahead and retire that book for the year and get her into her other English books and, and I'll probably pick something else uh, for writing. Not sure why the health book got brought out, but somebody probably needed it for something. That's Alpha Phonics. That's a great curriculum. However, we're currently using How to Teach Your Child to Read in 20 Easy Lessons, uh, which my child is enjoying that one. Not to be confused with the How to Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. That one is horrible. And the next shelf is kind of just our Bible shelf. Uh, a lot of books for reading. Uh, there are some other science books there, but, um, you know, uh, How Dragons Were Real from Answers in Genesis. And it's just a lot of um, reading. Everything to do with the Bible. Oh, this is an amazing book. Um, this is a very good read aloud I read to all my children. It is uh, packed full of adventure throughout the entire book. Uh, the adventure never stops and your child will want more and more and more each chapter. I recommend giving it a try. It was a good book, Rescue. So that's that shelf. 
couple of my history books can't fit on the, up, the shelf above, so they get put right there on the top. And then down below here are all my math books. That's in generally pretty good con condition. It's just missing one book that we I pulled out the other day to pull uh, something from it. It's sitting on our, our coffee table. So I'll put that back in there in, in a little bit. But that, that shelf is pretty good. There's the Bible shelf. And then we have the English and Science shelf. Pretty much in working condition now. Everyone can see it and get to it. And then the most used shelf is the History shelf. And we do include uh, missionary history and Bible history in our curriculum. The Tuttle Twins books are amazing. And then we have our game shelf. That's as best as that's going to get. And now, these are DVDs that I usually will, at the beginning of each week or every other week, I'll put out a bunch of DVDs that I will um, occasionally put into the shelves, uh, into the DVD player for my children when they first wake up in the morning before we get started. And it's just a bunch of VeggieTales, character quality building, um, Berenstain Bears. There's a couple missionary DVDs in there. My son absolutely loves these, World World. He loves having those on in the morning before he gets started on his schoolwork. And that's pretty much it. This is what it looks like when uh, it's all finished on a day-to-day -day basis. I put my chart back up there. It's Velcroed on. And then all the books are in nice working order and we're ready to go again. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, a look at our K-12 bookshelf. Bye for now.